Now we're going to look at problems where we don't have pictures to help us. 19 divided by 5. And this is how you can think about it. Maybe we have 19 kids and we need to make groups of 5. How many groups will we get? Think, how many 5s are there in 19? Or, how many groups of 5 you get out of 19 kids? Or, how many times does 5 go into 19? How many times? Okay, we're going to use multiplication. So you can think, okay, 3 times 5 would be 15, 4 times 5 would be 20. 4 times 5, we cannot get 4 groups out of 19, right? 4 groups of 5. So therefore, we only get 3 groups of 5. And the answer is therefore 3. 19 divided by 5 equals 3, but there's a remainder, right? 3 groups of 5 kids makes 15 kids, so 15, 19. The difference is 4 kids. There's 4 kids that have to either form a group of their own or not go into any group. And you can check by multiplying 3 times 5, the kids in groups, 15. Add a dose and you get 19. Now over here, you can practice yourself, okay? Pause the video, try these problems yourself. We think the same way. How many groups of 4 are in 18? Or how many times does 4 go into 18? Use multiplication. For example, 6 times 4 is 24. So no, 4 does not go into 18 6 times. 5 times 4, does it go 5 times? No, that would be 20. But 4 times, yes. The answer is 4, and then 4 times 4 is 16, and the remainder is the difference between 16 and 18, or 2. How about here? How many times does 5 go into 31? Yep, 5 times 6 is 30. And then 30, 31, there's a remainder, or the difference is 1. How many times does 4 go into 27? Okay, 6 times 4 was 24, and then 7 times 4 is too much, it is 28. So, 6 times. 6 times 4, 24, and then 24, 27, the difference is 3 there. And then 9, how many times does 9 go into 46? You need to know your 9 times table now. 4 times 9 is 36. 5 times 9 is 45, very close, so yes, 5 times remainder 1. Now here's a word problem that Matthew gave us, so thank you Matthew. Matthew stores his puzzle books in boxes. Each box can fit 8 books. And he has 51 puzzle books thus far, so that's lots, right? But he loves puzzles. How many boxes does he need for them? 51 puzzle books, he wants to pack them in boxes, store them in boxes, and he can put 8 books in each box. This is a typical division problem because we are packing something, okay, or fitting something into containers. So we can solve it by division or multiplication, because actually when we divide we need to use multiplication. The division is 51 divided by 8. Because we think, how many 8s are in 51? How many times does 8 go into 51? Okay? And we solve it by multiplication, like I said. 8 goes, how many times? 6 times, yes. 6 times 8 is 48. So there's 3 now as a remainder. Now what does that mean? How many boxes does he need? Does he need 3 boxes? Six boxes? Three, surely not, because these are like uh, leftover books, okay? Six would be the number of boxes, but what about these leftover books? He actually needs seven boxes. Six boxes will be full, okay? Six times eight, 48. And then the rest of the books, the three books, 
go into the seventh box, and that's not a full box. But he does need seven boxes. So let's write that down here, seven boxes. Lastly, we're going to look at a pattern, an easy pattern. Remember, mathematics is all about patterns. Okay, we're going to divide all these numbers by six and see what kind of pattern there is in the answers. Here's an easy one, 12 divided by six. That is an even division, right? There's no remainder. You know, I don't have to start here at the beginning. And I'll find another one that's an even division with no remainder. 18 divided by 6 is exactly 3. There is no remainder. Or the remainder is 0. Now 13 divided by 6. Just one more than here. If you have 13 books or whatever, div divided into groups of 6. You still get two groups, right? But now you have one left over. Remainder 1. How about 14 divided by 6? Can you see the pattern? This would still make two groups of six. And now you have two left over, okay? Two times six is 12, plus two, 14. And so it continues in a similar manner. The remainder just increases. Okay. And after remainder five, then we come to three. Three full groups. 19 divided by six. Okay, 18 divided by 6 was 3. This is 3 too. We get 3 groups. But 1 is left over. And here we get 3 groups, but 2 left over. And then this one. 6 goes into 11 just once. And then there's 5 left over. Right? So you see the pattern now. 1, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 3, 3, 3. And the remainders are increasing. This one here actually has remainder 0. We could write it here. And here. To complete the pattern. Okay, we're all done with this lesson.